It is spring 2020, 60 degrees out, beautiful weather, and none of us can go backpacking right now. At least in Wisconsin, we can't go backpacking right now. If you guys are in a location where you can go backpacking, you guys are so blessed. You have no idea. Uh, I would love to be outside filming. I got kids running in and out of the house. I have a chainsaw on one side of the house and I have a power sprayer on the other side of the house. So we are inside my upstairs office where I actually started filming YouTube videos back in the day. I've got three pieces of gear to show you today. Extremely innovative gear for 2020. So we're gonna get started with the first piece of gear. It is a company called Core Essentials. You might recognize that name because I did a review of their belts, I don't know, like a month ago. And uh, after I posted that online, they reached out to me again. They're like, hey, we've got these really cool pair of sunglasses we want you to take a look at. I'm like, yeah, sure, go ahead, send it to me. I took a look and they're not just regular sunglasses. They are perfect for what I do for backpacking. So sunglasses have to hit like two major check marks for me. One, they gotta look good and two, they have to be polarized. These sunglasses actually hit a third check mark I'm gonna to talk to you about. Let's back up. Do you guys know what polarized is? Polarized is like um, they take the lens, they put like a coating on it or they do something to it. So that way it reduces the reflection off of surfaces when you're looking out. So for instance, fishermen like polarized lenses because the polarization actually takes the reflection away so they can like see the fish that they're fishing for. And that helps them fish for billions and trillions more fish. And it works every time. So the first thing that's innovative about this pair of sunglasses is the case. The case is actually made to fit down in a cup holder in your car, which is cool because my car doesn't have like a sunglass holder anywhere in it. So this works out really well for me. And then as you open it up, take out the sunglasses and on the inside here, it is actually like a felt sort of material which won't scratch up the sunglasses. So that's kind of nice. You can just you know toss them down in there in your cup holder, keeps them safe, keeps them in place. But that's not what's innovative about the sunglasses. That's just the case. So I thought that that was actually really cool. So right away, I like these sunglasses because they are exactly the same style as the sunglasses that I'm used to. They're a style called Wayfair and that's the style that I've been using for quite some time. I'll show you, look. These literally look exactly like the sunglasses I wear currently. So that was check mark. Number one, that worked out. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Dan, you always look good in sunglasses. <laughs> Thank you guys, I really appreciate that. So here's what is so innovative. They have a magnet built into the arm of each side of the sunglasses. So what that does is when you close them up, they just snap into place. And when you pull on it, you can just see that bend right there. That's the magnet holding it. So why is that a big deal? That's a big deal because when you're backpacking and you don't want to use your sunglasses, and if you're like me and you're constantly taking them on and off, so like let's say you're in a forest and you're out of the forest and you're back in the forest and you want to bust out your sunglasses all the time, these can actually go on like your shirt, for instance, and they snap shut and it's almost like a paper clip. These things really hold well. So that way when you're bending over, they're not going to fall off. You could also throw these on the sternum strap of your backpack. But I think we should look at a few specs. So they've got these two styles of sunglasses. They've got the Reckless Wayfair Neo Lock and then they've got the Badlands Wrap. I like the Reckless Wayfair because that's a style I own. So they have a lens impact rating of ANSI SQC Z1 4-2003. <laughs> <laughs> that means nothing to me, but this is what I think it means. They took a 5 8 inch steel ball, dropped it from 50 inches onto the lenses and there were no fractures. So these are like solid lenses. So I wouldn't be worried about taking these backpacking at all. Right now these retail for $149, but if you are buying from them for the first time, there's a 10% off coupon. That's cool. So what is that like $15? My math skills don't add up very well. Get it? They don't add up. <laughs> so that's gear piece number one from Core Essentials. Innovative gear. Thought you guys would like to see these. Let's check out the next piece of gear. It's by a company called Dynamo and the product is called a Prime Stick. It's essentially a cane, a trekking pole, and a walking stick all in one. And before you jump on me and you're like, that's not backpacking, uh, I've got a super ultralight trekking pole. Let me just say who this is specifically for. This is for the general hiking community, mainly used in an urban environment, but it's not limited to an urban environment. This could also be for an older person who just wants to get out on a little bit 
more technical terrain, maybe gravel or rocks. Or maybe you're camping at, say, a, a KOA or something and you need a plan B because uh, some of the terrain is just simple, you know, gravel style roads, but you definitely want to get out into the woods too. This could be a perfect option for you. Also, one of the cool things about it is this foot here. According to their website, this is two to three times the size of a standard cane tip. And what else is really cool is that the grooves here, according to their website, actually push away water when you're hiking. So when you slam this down on say a slick surface, it's gonna grip a lot better. On the sides here, it also has grooves to be able to form to some of the terrain as you're walking on it. This has EVA foam throughout the whole thing and it's got the standard trekking pole end that you're used to from hiking. So that's not gonna be something completely different for you. And then to extend it, you just unscrew this, pull on it, tighten it back up, and it has a lightweight aluminum pole inside of here. I would say that you could use this to even like, you know, put together your trekking pole tents. Obviously you could do that. The other cool thing is that this thing is only $40. <laughs> so most trekking poles are a lot more expensive than that. They're twice as expensive as that. And something that's a solidly built trekking pole or walking stick like this, uh, this is well worth the investment. All right, the last piece of gear I wanna show you is a rain jacket. This is a rain jacket that is innovative for one reason. It is extremely ultralight. This rain jacket only weighs three ounces. It's by Rab Equipment. This is not like a full feature rain jacket. And what I mean by that is like the rain jacket that zips all the way up, has pit zips, pockets, none of that stuff. And that doesn't matter to me. I, I could care less if a rain jacket has that stuff. The biggest reason I could care less is because a rain jacket sits in my backpack 99% of the time. So lightweight over features beats it, for me at least, every single time. But I'm always gonna bring the rain jacket because you never know when weather is gonna happen. You always wanna be prepared, so it's just gonna come with you. So a lot of time it just sits in your backpack as dead weight. According to Rab's website, this thing weighs 90 grams or three ounces. <laughs> three ounces. Unreal, I have headlamps that weigh more than that. It's a quarter zip rain jacket, but all of the seams are seam sealed, which is really nice. There are rain jackets on the market that don't have seam sealing done, which is ridiculous. And it's made out of a seven denier nylon, which actually has some stretch to it. It's more of a fitted rain jacket. It's more of a slim fit. Um, so you'd probably want to size up if you want to use it as like a hard shell but they do that on purpose because they're trying to cut weight, so they're gonna slim it down, which reduces the materials. It does come with a little tiny stuff sack that attaches to the collar here, which you can uh, you know, get rid of if you want to. And when you stuff it in here, it ends up being like the size of a baseball or like just bigger than a baseball, maybe like a, a grapefruit or something. The downside to this though is that this thing costs $200, and I know that's super expensive, but if you have the money and it's something that you're looking to reduce weight on, this could be a great option for you. I got this with a big discount. I had some gift cards and that sort of thing, so I paid about 50 bucks for it. It's gonna replace my Helium 2 on the next couple of hikes because my goal has been to really reduce my base weight for my camera gear if you guys have been following my channel at all. All right, guys, those are my three innovative gear items for 2020. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit the like button. Also, subscribe for more. Hit the bell notification so I can send you a video every single time it's released, and I will see you on the next one.